Hi everyone, it's Christine here from Christine Stampin' Spot and I am an independent Stamp It Up demonstrator. I'm super excited to bring you this simple but really sweet card today. And this card is created using the Varied Vases stamp set from Stampin' Up. There's also a punch that coordinates with this stamp set that punches out three different sizes of the vase, a little tulip, uh, top of a tulip flower, and then a little stem here as well. Now this, these items can be purchased separately, but they do come together as a bundle. So if you buy them together, you save 10%. This stamp set was actually designed by one of our fellow demonstrators. With Stampin' Up, when you reach the $1 million in sales, you get to work with Stampin' Up to design a stamp set for the catalog. And so this one was designed by one of our fellow demonstrators, and I absolutely adore this stamp set. You get to do some two-step stamping, some punching, and you can make really sweet cards. So this is the little card that we're going to make today. I will have a video coming up later today. Today is Tuesday, July 3rd. On Tuesdays is when I put out all of the information for my weekly online card class. And the next online card class will feature this bundle as well as a couple ink pads and then a bunch of supplies that you will be getting for me from for free as a gift to create six cards so um, stay tuned for a video later today that will have all the details you will need on the the next online card class that will feature this bundle so stay tuned for that all right let's go ahead and get started with this stamping and creating this sweet little fun card for the card today we're going to be using these two vases here and then we're going to be using this flower here with the fill in here for some two-step stamping. And then we are also going to be using this little stem here. And then we'll be doing some punching. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to bring over my Stamp and Pierce mat because this is a photopolymer stamp set. And this mat is wonderful. It's only $5 in the catalog and it provides the perfect base for your stamping surface. I get a perfect image every time. And I'm just going to bring some scratch paper over as well. I'm going to bring over some Coastal Cabana ink. This is a brand new color. It's actually a returning color. It used to be an in color a while back. And uh, Stampin' Up! just did a color revamp. So this was returned and it's now in our Subtles collection permanently. And they also did a new design of the ink pads, which are great. You just open and then slide back. And so first I'm going to stamp this taller of the two vases. Now before I, when I'm doing punching, I like to kind of take a look before I stamp down at how the configuration is on the punch. And as you can see, by the way, the way our punches work is there's this little lock mechanism down here that keeps it flat so you can store it and stack these on top of each other. But if you want to utilize the punch, you just simply push this darker gray button up and then the punch opens. So I'm gonna slide this paper down if, for a moment so you can see that the vases in the punch are actually upside down. So to save some cardstock, I'm just going to punch, I mean stamp rather, this vase upside down. And I'll show you, you'll see what I mean when this comes together in just a minute. So I'm going to ink this, stamp this down on this scratch piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock, again using Coastal Cabana ink. And then I'm just gonna clean that off on my stamp and scrub very quickly that is off camera and um, then go ahead and punch this first vase out. So all you do is you just line it up, you look through the back here, you line it up so where it's perfectly in that little groove for that tall vase, and then you simply punch down. And you're gonna get a lot of little extras, and you can use those for other projects or just throw them away. They're just little scraps. All right, and I, as you can see, I really like to utilize my scraps, so this piece has been punched quite a bit already. I just don't like to waste this beautiful cardstock if I can help it. Okay, so I'm going to bring back over the same block, which by the way is the Stampin' Up! B block. And I'm now going to stamp, do the same thing with the smaller of the two vases. And so now I'm just going to stamp that upside down, down here in this corner. There we go. Clean this off one more time. Bring the punch, actually let's go ahead and close this for a moment so I don't make a mess. And now we'll bring the punch back over and we'll simply slide this into this little section for this particular vase, as you can see there. And then I'm just going to line it up perfectly here. It fits beautifully. And then we will punch it down. Let me just, there we go. Punch down. And there you go. There are our two beautiful little vases. Perfect every time. All right, so now we are done with our vases. Let's now bring over 
As you can see on the finished card here, I have the rest of the stamping done on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I used the Stitch Shapes Framelit dies to cut out the stitched square. And so I've already done that prior to coming on camera. So that's already done to save some time. So now we need to stamp the little flowers that are coming out of the vases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first just briefly place this first vase where I'm going to want it. And then I'm going to take the flower stamp, which again is this one right here is the outline. And this is great too. It gives you so many possibilities. If you wanted to color, you could color these with our stamp and plans or watercolor pencils. Um, or you can do the two-step stamping, which I'm going to do today, and just fill in the outline with the coordinating stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and reopen the Coastal Cabana ink pad, and I'm going to get this outline stamp nice and inked up here. And then I'm just going to figure out where I want it placed. And I'm going to put it about right there. So now I'm just going to kind of keep it as still as I can, move the vase out of the way, and stamp this down. And then lift up. Perfect. All right. So then I am going to now take the little filler, the second step of the stamp, to fill in the open flowers. And I'm going to grab Melon Mambo for that. And I'm just going to ink that up. And all you do is you just, I'm gonna to try to pull this down so my head doesn't get in the frame. And I'm just going to peer through the clear block here and line it up. And it's so easy to see if your head's directly over it. I have the camera on top, so if I'm a little off, it's that's the reason, it's not the stamp set, I promise you. All right, and you just stamp it down. There we go, looks good, okay. So that's where that's gonna go. And then this little vase will go about there. Okay, I'm gonna bring over for placement purposes again, my second vase. And I'm just gonna have it kind of layered slightly on top of the first vase. So it's gonna go about there. So that means that I want my little, as you can see from the finished card, I went ahead and punched out this little stem here. And I'll show you what that looks like. Let me grab a piece of Coastal Cabana scratch paper here. And we are just gonna punch out this little branch or leaf or whatever you want to call it and I'm just going to take it right over to the edge so I waste less cardstock there and then just punch it and I can save this little flower that also punched out for a separate card all right so we are done with that so this and again I'm just placing right now this is going to go about there now I want to take a piece of Scratch Melon Mambo cardstock to cut, to punch out the little tulip head. Now, of course, you could do more stamping here. I just kind of wanted to change up the design a little bit and show you how you can utilize both the stamping and the punching on the same card. Okay, we're now all done with the punching, so let me just quickly show you how you would close this up. You push it as if you're punching, and then you push the dark gray button back to the top. And now it's locked, and you can store it and stack other things on top of it if you wanted to. All right, so let's set that out of the way. So my little tulip is going to go about right there. So that means I'm going to bring over the stamp set again just to show you. I have this little stem here. If you can see, it's just a plain stem in the bottom right-hand corner of the stamp set. And that's the little stem I'm going to use for my tulip. So it's gonna go about right there, and I don't need much of it showing. So I'm just going to bring my little Coastal Cabana stamp, uh, ink pad rather, back over, and I'm just going to ink about the first quarter of this stamp up. And now I'm going to remove the little things that I had set down for placement and I'm going to just stamp, let me just bring this little vase back really quick so I get it ex pretty much exactly where I want it. And I'm gonna put it, yeah, about right there, okay. And there we go. Okay, and you'll see this will all come together in just a moment. So now we're done with our inks, at least we're done with our Coastal Cabana ink, I should say. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this little stamping panel together. So I'm going to grab some dimensionals here and I'm going to stick a stamping dimensional down, just one at the bottom here of the taller vase. And then we're going to stick him down right here, like so. Okay. Now I'm going to take my smaller vase 
and I'm going to actually run some of my snail adhesive along the back first. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I want to be able to stick the little piece of um, leaf that we punched out onto the back here. I got a little adhesive on my workspace, so I'm just getting that off with my finger quickly. All right, so I wanna be able to stick this little piece to the back of our vase like so you guys see that so i just stuck that down like that now i'm going to take a stamp and dimensional and put it on the back of this face as well and then we will stick this down and again we're going to layer it just a little tiny bit over the first vase there we go like that now we can take a mini Stampin' Dimensional. If you guys haven't seen these yet, these are fantastic. This cuts down on a lot of work of having to cut the bigger dimensionals down in size, which sometimes makes them lose their sticky. These are tiny, tiny dimensionals that work perfectly on small pieces like this. All right, so now I'm going to put the, whoops, if I can get the backing off my finger, okay. And then I'm just going to stick the little tulip right about there. And for a little bit of extra fun, I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella pen. This probably won't show up on the video. I'll, it'll be in the pictures on my blog. And by the way, I will have a link to my blog in the description box of this video below, which will have a link to all of the products used to create today's card. So I just rubbed a little Wink of Stella over the top of the little flower. I'm going to bring this up to the camera just on the off chance you guys can see. Oh, you can see it a little bit, I think right there, but it looks really pretty in person. It's just a fun, super quick, takes no time at all to add that little bit of extra, what I like to call pizzazz to the card. It just makes a simple card feel a little bit jazzier, I guess, if you will. All right, then the final step for our stamping is to stamp the little sentiment hello. I'm going to be using the Melon Mambo ink for that, so I'm just going to ink up the little sentiment here. And then I just, I like to use my grid paper to kind of make sure everything's straight. And I'm going to stamp this hello here in the bottom right corner. Like that, perfect. Okay, so we are all done with our stamping. We can close up all of our ink pads now. And now it's just a matter of putting this card together. So the first step is, I'm just gonna let this dry for just a moment because I just stamped that sentiment. These are all the materials that you will need plus the Whisper White square we were working on of course to create this card so i'm using some of this beautiful dotted white ribbon to go along the bottom some coastal cabana cardstock this designer series paper is from each color family it has its own section of um, designer series paper and it looks kind of like this let me just bring this over and it has all of the colors this happens to be the bright so this is melon mambo but again each color family has its own including the ink colors and they're just basic stripes and dots but it's really great to have it's pretty inexpensive to get a pad for each color family and it really can add just a little bit of pop of color to your projects and then finally for the card base i have a piece of whisper white cardstock it's the thick whisper white i'm sorry the thick whisper white so and i will have all the dimensions on my blog so let's go ahead and just quickly put this card together. I'm going to go ahead and put some snail on the back of my designer series paper here. Again, this is from the Brights. This is Melon Mambo. And I'm just going to stick it, and I'm using kind of the little grids on my work surface here to sort of help me keep it straight. Okay, I'm just going to stick it there. All right. Now I'm going to take this beautiful white ribbon, white dotted ribbon, and I'm just gonna cut enough that I can loop two sides to the back of the cardstock. You'll see what I mean by that in just a second. So I'm going to take a little bit of snail and I'm just gonna put it at the end of each side of the ribbon, like so. And then I'm just going to make it straight on my card front here and then just loop it around the back and stick it down. So I'm gonna stick this side down first and I'm just sticking it right there on the back of the cards, the cardstock. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, there we go. Now we're ready to go ahead and stick this piece down to the Whisper White, the Thick Whisper White card base, which is a standard A2 size card base, four and a quarter by five and a half when it is folded. All right, so let's go ahead and center this on the front of our card base here and stick it down. Okay. 
Now we are ready to put this little panel on top of our Coastal Cabana scallop, scallop square. rather. And to create this, I use the layering squares framelit dies. The layering shapes, we have squares, rect uh, squares, circles, and ovals, and they are really uh, a good um, purchase to make. You can get so many different sizes and they really help add some interest to your cards. I find that I use the ovals and the squares the most. But if I had to just pick one, I'd first, as a, the, my first purchase, I'd get the stitched shapes. I just love that look of the stitching along the uh, border of the shape. Okay, so this is going to go there with some dimensional. But before we do that, so, so it's not in the way, I'm going to unspool a little bit more of this beautiful ribbon. And this is called Polka Dot Tull Ribbon is the official full name. Again, a link to all the products will be on my blog. I'm just going to weave it under the... The layer that we've glued down and then I'm just going to tie a little knot in it nothing fancy just a little knot and then pull it tight there and then we'll just I didn't probably need to cut it this big because we're going to cut off the ends just kind of at an angle to add some interest to right about there that looks good just a pretty little bow at the bottom. It's actually not a bow, just a little something something. <laughs> All right, now let's take our dimensionals again, and we're just gonna flip this square panel over, and I'm just gonna stick a bunch of dimensionals down just to give this a little bit of pop. You guys know if you've watched any of my videos that I really love things to pop. Not too much, of course, because you still want them to fit in, there, in your envelopes, but this little bit of dimension here won't affect the envelopes at all and it really does look great in person and it just adds a little bit of interest so we're just going to stick the square down right about here and then for our final touch i'm going to grab some stampin uh some basic jewel rhinestones i'm going to just stick them wherever i want here just one and two here in the kind of the right corner and then i'm going to put three in the middle of the little flowers here that are in the first vase that we did. So one, two, and three. And that's it guys, we are done. I think this is a super simple, sweet little card that anyone would love to receive. And it was so quick to put together, so quick. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and for stamping with me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure to tune in this afternoon, later today, for my video on my next online card class, which will feature this stamp set and coordinating punch. So thanks again, guys, so much, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.